Okay, so the day's come, finally off to Aquarium Gardens and I've been looking forward to this for ages. That's not my car. Okay, what, what's happened here is I was trying to let Artie get in the car like I just arrived and then come out and walk into the shop. But it didn't go to plan, but I thought it was funny, so I left it in. Yeah, remember to click, click subscribe, everyone who's not subscribed already. I've got tons of stuff coming up that you're going to really love. And look at the store, look, as soon as you come in, awesome scapes right in front of you. And there's Dave, believe it or not, I'd actually been chatting with him for about a half hour before I walked in, but... Okay, this is the first tank that greets you as you come in. This was actually on Dave's channel, Aquarium Gardens channel. I'll actually leave a link to that. Really nice looking scape, look at it. It's filled in really well. Love the reds on that red tiler centerpiece there. Okay, I won't spend too long on each scape because otherwise this video will be about an hour long, but uh, just cover a few points and, and show, show the best parts of it all. Lovely looking scape here done by George. Look at those S Rupins at the front there, look really nice. I can only dream of that. My water doesn't really allow those to grow, so yeah, I don't I don't use them. Again, really nice red from the rotala there. Oxidizer, just creating tiny little oxygen bubbles. Yeah, this is the Uaze Highline tank. It's sort of like an all-in-one package if you like. Looks really good. Okay, this tank look, is insane. I love it. Really open, but also really dense, like a jungle right in the middle and pulls your eyes right in. The dark areas have you searching for little little treats there's lots and lots going on really nice fish as well it's the celestial pearl danio i really like them i've only kept them once and i think i got a weak batch because they died straight away beast of an amano shrimp there and this guy looks pretty lost so this tank was one of the first i actually saw uh on youtube to be honest Right when I was starting in the hobby, it looked very different back then. Pumping out the CO2, really nice though. The Cardinals look great. I do love an above tank shot showing the light rippling. This was my favorite skate, but uh, Dave's taking it down to start something new. You gotta do that every now and again. If a skate's finished, it's finished. It's time to move on to something else. Look at that red there. So the lights on this tank, um, you can see there the Life Aqua Master Pro really bring out the reds because even the uh, the Tetris there look the Ember Tetris they're really red as well. Lovely trident fern at the front again, and I really like these pebbles all across the floor. Something I think I'm going to do a bit more of. Looks really natural. Love it. So this is a low tech tank, so it's low lighting, there's no CO2. My wife's not a massive fan of aquascaping, but uh, she actually really likes this one. She, she says that it looks more real. I guess she, she means more natural, um, but I see where she's coming from. Really like that beach area at the front, nice and simple, easy to maintain, fast growing stem plants at the back there. This is my first time seeing ADA products in the flesh and I have to say I'm pretty impressed to be honest, it's really nice. This mirror at the back adds a new element that I've not really seen before. I've only seen it on YouTube but it's really, really good. Nice sort of mountain scape that Dave's done here. Lots to look at. And floating plants as well. 
not quite MD fish tank style of covering the whole surface. A uh, really nice moss scape, I love this. It's actually making me want to use moss a lot more in my scapes. That big clump of uh, Fissidens moss in the middle. Get a close up of that in a sec, there you go, look, look at that. It's amazing. Cherry shrimp seem to love it as well in here. Right, so that's all the tanks done. So we've got big shelving here of all the different goods. I think there's some sea chem stuff there, the aquascaper. Over this side, we've got lighting, tanks, ADA products, ADA substrate. Lots and lots of different, different things to look at. And this is the Tropical 1-2 Grow selection in the fridge. Uh, tissue culture plants, really good. And then there's more tissue culture plants next to those from, uh, I think they're just different brands, but loads and loads there again. And then this is everyone's dream is into aquascaping, just a whole massive section with different wood, um, rocks, serious stone, black lava rock there, dragon stone, nice big sort of area that you can practice on. And then a smaller area for about 600 cent a millimeter tank, which you can see here, look, this is the main reason I came to the store was because Aquarium Gardens are sponsoring one of my builds coming up, which is going to be a nature aquarium. And with ADA, ADA inspired, um, but you know, Dave has donated all of the hardscape for me, all of the plants and sponsoring the video. So that's absolutely brilliant. So main reason coming here was to come to collect those, but also so I could do a nice video of the whole shop for you guys. The back room here is all for plants mainly. You can see the plants sit in these little black trays which are full of water so the roots stay submerged. The top part grows emerged, uh, which is just sort of the standard way of how you grow plants and then they convert to their submerged state when you plant them. Even more wood out the back here, look massive pieces there of driftwood. Some big pieces of rock as well, that's dragonstone, nice. So Dave separates the uh, plants into sort of sections. There's like mother plants in one section and you've got a lot of stems in others. And look at this rock, really nice, that millennium stone, love that. And then there's this submerged uh, plant section as well where the plants already started converting to their submerged state. Packing area. Just absolutely tons of choice. Feels like Christmas if you're into your, into your plants and you're in here. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that as much as I did. And uh, first of all, thank you so much to Dave for having me and also for providing me, well, the real reason I actually went up to Aquarium Gardens was because uh, Dave and Aquarium Gardens are sponsoring one of my builds, which is coming out soon on the channel. Uh, it's, it's an attempt to do, do my style of aquascaping, i.e. no tech, but in, inspired by ADA, so the, uh, I've been looking back at quite a few videos from you know Takeshi Amano from about seven years ago or so, um, and uh, you know trying to trying to use his style uh, just to get better really my own aquascaping, but also the challenge of doing it without the tech. But it is hard to get the balance right. But I feel like I'm able to do that now with the skills I've learned through doing all of these tanks that are sat around me. Um, and I'll cut to a little shot as well, showing you. What I've done, a bit of a preview, but the video will be out soon fully. I've not finished editing or anything yet, so yeah, that's all to come. But yeah, so thank you very much, Aquarium Gardens. If you haven't been to the shop, do go and take a look. It's absolutely amazing, especially if you're a fan of aquascapes and you walk in there and it's you know it's like wow, it's definitely the best tanks I've ever seen anyway in in the flesh, possibly full stop. Um, but yeah, yeah, do go take a look. 
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, channel obviously do that as well. <laughs> so, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.